If you're looking for a quick fix, just delete all the Adobe beta apps and you should be fine. In the last few days, a lot of people woke up to Photoshop not opening up entirely, me included, and it became such a big issue that if you have a look at the bugs section of Adobe forums inside of the Photoshop area, scroll down and you will notice that this is the biggest issue right now with more than 439 replies and the last one 14 minutes ago from the time of recording this video. If you're facing this issue or if you face this issue in the future as it may happen with the updates, please wait before you uninstall and reinstall everything. Please wait before you clean and wipe everything down and install it all over again. Please wait till you reset all of your preferences. Try the solution in this video and see if it works for you. Before we get to the solution, let us understand what the issue is so that we don't try anything weird. So I woke up yesterday to start my lovely affair with Photoshop but unfortunately, as soon as I clicked on the icon, it just kept jumping. After bumping my head on the wall several times, it finally got to the splash screen but it froze to death right there where it says halide bottlenecks for some reason. Maybe that was the bottleneck, maybe not. But then I found out I was not the only one facing this issue. Googling a little bit took me to this page in the forum and what was surprising was this was the top trending post. And it is still right now at the time of recording this video. And even though Adobe is still investigating, there are a lot of people that suggested a lot of solutions. Some worked, some didn't, but I'm gonna share with you what worked for me. This issue has been across platforms, not just limited to Windows or Mac, as people with both Windows and Mac somewhere here are reporting the issue. And any update may bring the issue to you, and that is why it is important to understand what the issue is. Now, if you're thinking you're going to roll back to the previous version, it's gonna work out, actually no. And this brings us to the solution. And the solution is more simple and unique than you think. The first thing that would come to our mind when coming across issues like this is going to our Creative Cloud desktop app. Inside of that, just roll back to the previous version of Photoshop by clicking on the three dots, click on other versions and maybe install a previous version. But that did not help. And the crazier part was regular Photoshop, Photoshop beta, Adobe Illustrator, nothing was opening. Everything was getting stuck on the splash screen. The second thing you can try in situations like this is reset Photoshop's preferences. What that does, it resets all of the settings that you have set inside of Photoshop. So before you do this, be really careful. And then all you have to do is to hold Command Option Shift on a Mac, Control Alt Shift on Windows. And as you're holding those keys, open Photoshop. Now it will ask you whether you want to delete your Photoshop settings file. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna hit no, but if you wanna fix something and something is not working right, you can click on yes, but do know that all of your Photoshop settings will be deleted. But unfortunately, even that didn't work in this case. Then you can try uninstalling and reinstalling Photoshop. Even that didn't work. You can also try signing out of your Creative Cloud desktop app and then signing in again. And if that doesn't work, you can also use this tool that I learned about very recently, which is the Creative Cloud Cleaner tool. This allows you to just wipe out every Adobe application and it's actually a program that you can install in your computer. I'll leave a link to this in the description. You can scroll down and in here, choose your operating system. For example, if it's Windows, choose Windows. If it's Mac, choose Mac and download from here and follow the instructions to clean everything up. And then you can reinstall Photoshop and all other Adobe applications one by one. I know this is tedious and it's a pain in the neck and then check if it's working. And it actually did work for some of the people as you can see right here, but I didn't wanna go through that. So I did find the root of the problem. So before you do any of the deletion, the reinstalling, cleaning everything, resetting preferences, try this. And that is delete all of the beta Adobe apps, everything. So Photoshop beta, Illustrator beta, Premiere Pro beta, and every beta thing that is out there. If you have a look at the forum again, they have updated the solution as of now, and they're asking you to delete all of these beta apps. But I recommend just delete every beta app, including Photoshop beta. And once you delete it, I recommend that you restart your computer and start Photoshop. It just worked for me and it did work for a lot of people here as well. The way to delete the beta is going to a Creative Cloud desktop app. Inside of that, go to apps section. Let's go back, go to beta apps right here and where it says Photoshop beta, just uninstall it. Click on the three dots and click on uninstall. That's it it should be working fine. Now, just the last video, I had told you that if you're not interested in trying out the latest features, 
please don't even install the beta. Know that you're playing with snakes when you're working with Photoshop beta. And even then, there were some of you in the comments who said, beta is stable, it has been stable recently, it's fine to use it. And now is a great moment to tell you, I told you so. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope this was helpful. And if this video helped you, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you in my next fun. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.